Yeah. Right, Maddie, I haven't spoken to you since you came back, so yep. welcome back to Cheltenham Town. Um, how did the move come about, and did we always keen to come back to the club that you've played for last season? Yeah, you know, um, well, I was on loan to Dagenham, and you know, I went back to Colchester, and wasn't getting on the bench and not playing and stuff. And you know, Gaffer said that um, Mark Yates wanted to take me on loan, so you know, if I'm not going to play, and I was willing to jump on and come to Cheltenham. Yeah. You haven't played that much football recently, and then you, no. you had a bit of a virus as well. Yeah. I mean, do you, do you feel like you, you're sort of getting back to match fitness? And did, yeah, did Monday night's game yeah, help? Yeah, yeah, I feel like I'm getting back to match fitness. You know, before the um, after the Stevenage game, like, I was feeling ill, and you know, came on against Chesterfield. You know, got that 30, 35 minutes, 30 minutes under my belt. And, you know, I was feeling kind of tired a bit, but you know, the game Monday helped me because I went through 90 minutes. You know, and I, I felt nice, and I felt. Um, I wasn't feeling tired, and hopefully on Saturday I can play 90 minutes again. Yeah, always nice to get a goal as well, isn't it? You scored, scored the goal on Monday night, and yeah, well taken. You know, yeah, you know, it's nice to get a goal. Probably now that can help me get a goal against all the shop, you know. And you know, I'm always looking to score. And if I'm not looking to score, I'm looking to set up goals. Yeah. Do, you, do you look back on your loan spell last season? Was, you know, did you really enjoy it? Come to Cheltenham, and yeah, scoring you know, a few goals. And yeah, you know, I really enjoyed it. You know, at Cheltenham and scoring goals. You know, um, Mark Yates and everyone around him really looked after me so I think I can do that again and probably think I can you know I missed out on quite a few goals last time but you know I think I can get quite a few more goals this season. Yeah, how does the uh, squad com- how does the sort of atmosphere at the club compare to last year? You know um, you know well came back Saturday and the atmosphere was still the same and you know I'm hoping Saturday the atmosphere can even be greater than it was on Saturday because um, not a lot of people was there on Saturday yeah. but Still, you know, just to put our good team, and hopefully the crowd can be with us on Saturday and make us win. Yeah, there's not that many players left, really, are there, from last year? There's quite a few new faces in. I mean, have you noticed the difference in the squad? Yeah, I've noticed, I've noticed quite a few people have gone. You know, from um, it was it Shane Duff that was here last season, um, Ridley, and you know, but you know, there's still people that are now here. Danny Andrew, Ash is here still. Goalkeeper, you know, it's nice. Everyone's getting along well. Yeah. Um, what What do you think you can bring then if you, if you get your first start? <laughs> Call that on video. <laughs> if, you, if you get your first start with this loan spell on the Saturday, what do you think you can bring to the team? That, no, that you can, can, add? can you know can bring um, width, you know, taking on players, getting in crosses, shooting, you know, setting up goals. Hopefully, we can get goals and hopefully I can score. Yeah, a lot of the fans have been calling for width for most of the season. Obviously, with you on one possibility, of you on one wing and Jake Thompson on the other, there's plenty of pace there and plenty of width and plenty of balls into the box. Is that, is that what you think you and Jake can do? Yeah, I, don't know. I think me and Jake can definitely deliver balls in the box. You know, that on Jake played on Monday and his delivery from set pieces was quality, and we got two goals out of it. And I, I definitely think that me and Jake can provide crosses in. Yeah, I'm alright. Thinking you became a dad quite recently. Yeah, how, yeah. How are you finding that? Them. Yeah, uh, you know I'm coping very well. You know, um, well, right now my missus and my baby's back in London. You know, like this time when you you miss them and you want to go back, but you know, um, football's my career and I'm here to do a job. So, you know, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, it's one of those things about being a footballer, isn't it? You have yeah. to accept that occasionally you're gonna have to be away from home. And yeah, you know, it's one of them things. But you know, hopefully, when on Saturday and hopefully I can talk to the gaffer about going to see my. Maybe I'm a missus, so, you know, first things first, we have to get through the game and hopefully we win and get the three points. Yeah, Colchester are having a decent season, aren't they, just outside the playoffs? How's John Ward and all the ex Cheltenham boys at Colchester? Yeah, you know, all the um, ex Cheltenham boys are doing well, you know, um, Kay's scoring, Kay's scoring, I think they scored in the last three games, you know, um, Ash is doing well, Gilly's doing well, Willow's just coming back from injury, so everyone's doing well and, you know, the Gaffer's looking after them properly, the um, Gaffer's a uh, proper, you know, very good manager and, he knows what he's doing, and hopefully next season I can get in his team. Yeah, who, who is it who's sort of keeping you out at the moment? Who's, who's who have you got to try and displace in the team? Um, I have to try and get rid of Ash and Anthony Wordsworth, you know, and the, the, both of them are very good players, you know. Just hopefully next season come back fit, you know, and just step up my game, and hopefully I can get in the gaffer side. Yeah.